Writing a research proposal is the most important topic for the students as well as uh, for the professionals. So in this video I will talk about the uh, proposal writing, how to write an academic research proposal and how to write a professional uh, research proposal. I will talk step by step, step to write a, a research proposal. Uh, in this video, uh, the first topic that is relevant with the research, writing a research proposal is your purpose of research. What is your purpose of research? You have to explain this to your funder uh, through which uh, you are getting some sort of funds. Like you have to write a research proposal to get some funds for your project or if you are a student, you have to satisfy your uh, supervisor or uh, that institution or that head of department to uh, uh, like uh, you have uh, to work on that research and then after get your degree after completing your research proposal. So I will explain some of the uh, uh, aims that are very much uh, relevant with the uh, of writing a research proposal. The first thing that is relevance. Uh, how many topics and how many readers, uh, I will say about the readers, how many readers will attract towards your project? Uh, is your uh, project uh, original? Like uh, if you have done some sort of plagiarism or uh, cut copy paste in your re research proposal, so that will be not good. Uh, the second thing about the research proposal aim is context. The, the thing the, in which field you are doing your research is that field is relevant to your academics or, uh, or your topic. So you have to build a strong academic background behind, behind that research topic. After that, the third thing that comes to uh, under this umbrella is approach. You have to make a proper design or methodology to uh, say something about that approach. So in approach, you have to explain about the tools. Which tool you are using for the research? Is it uh, uh, like uh, we can say if we are doing some sort of programming uh, research project, so you have to identify the programming tool, uh, which programming tool you are uh, using in your research. After that is the feasibility. Feasibility confirms that the project is possible within the practical constraints. Within the pra practical constraints of the program or which institution is funding you or which sort of funder is giving you some sort of funds to uh, like start your research. Another thing is the main thing that is uh, you have to explain that is in uh, through which duration you have to complete your research proposal. Like the length of your research proposal uh, is very much like uh, if you are doing a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, you just have to write your research proposal in a few pages. But if you are doing your research uh, uh, in a doctoral degree, means you, if you are doing a PhD, you have to write something about your title. The title must be uh, like uh, uh, giving an idea, an abstractual idea about your uh, topic. And after that, uh, the main thing that comes in uh, the PhD research proposal is abstract. Abstract is the uh, full explanation of your research. Uh, like you have to explain each and everything in that uh, abstract. Like you have to give a summarized way that uh, you have to do these sort of things in your research. And after that, the third thing that comes in a research proposal that is introduction. Introduction is the most important thing that you have to introduce the area in which area you are doing your research. I think the main part is abstract and after that the uh, in our topics that is introduction. Introduction is the most important thing in a research uh, proposal. After that the fourth 
most important part is literature and we can say that literature is the backbone of every proposal writing like every uh, proposal uh, like what is literature if we define literature you have to study so many books so many research articles to uh, like uh, to find a research gap and when you find a research gap uh, then you have to address some sort of you have to give some sort of solution to that gap as well so literature is the main part in research proposal after that research design and method which method or design you will be using to complete your research like which methodology you will be using which tool you will be using and how many uh, people have contributed in that field and after that the main part like if you have uh, uh, written some sort of thing in your literature from another paper you have to cite that information in your references references and the list of uh, biographies that is very much important like you have to uh, write the references at the end of your research proposal and uh, I will say that uh, if you are doing some sort of academic research or any sort of professional research you have to write a research schedule like in how many months or how many years you have to complete your research after that the main thing that comes uh, in research that is budget in how many cost like how uh, how much money it will take to complete your research and the most important part the that comes at the end of the research proposal is proofreading and revisions if your idea is not that much clear you have to elaborate and clearly you have to mention your idea in the abstract as well as in the introduction because some of the uh, supervisors or some of the funders that are giving you fund for the that research uh, he will uh, he will must say that you have to write some sort of your main idea that you will be working in your research that you have to elaborate the idea like the novelty of the idea in the abstract after that in the introduction and uh, I will say something about the abstract like uh, uh, so many uh, pattern of the proposal uh, writing uh, templates will be uh, not having any sort of abstract they do not write uh, an abstract and they start directly from the introduction so uh, when this sort of thing uh, happen in a uh, proposal writing template or uh, pattern then you have to convey your abstractual message in the uh, especially in the introduction and also you have to talk properly about the novelty and the thing you are doing in your research so uh, if i explain the title page like what will be the title page of your research proposal so uh, you have to write the purpose of your project or research after that you have to write your own name like uh, you will be dealing with that research and you have to write about your supervisor name who will be supervising you in the project if the project is academically conducting uh, if someone is uh, conducting the research academically uh, through institution or through under a department and as well as you have to write some sort of abstractual and uh, uh, table of you have to write some sort of table of contents in that as well so that will be very easy that if someone wants to read your um, uh, proposal they can also have to chapter wise study that uh, table of contents as well very easily uh, what is if we say that uh, what sort of thing that are involved in the at the end of the research proposal uh, that is proofreading or revisions like uh, uh, if there will be some sort of mistake mistakes in the as uh, grammatical wise or some sort of uh, mistakes uh, if someone have done uh, through like uh, writing basis if someone grammar is not good if the paper written uh, or the language they have written is not good 
Now, and if there is some sort of redundancy or some sort of weakness that someone have written in the, uh, in the research uh, proposal. After that, you have to rephrase your uh, conclusion and results as well. Uh, like uh, if you have conducted some sort of survey in your literature, you have to fully explain at the end of the conclusion and results that I have done these sort of things and under this survey, I have concluded to this topic that this is the research gap and re my research finding to uh, do this sort of novel thing or novel research. So, if I talk about the introduction, so introduction is the part that is very much interesting like uh, how is it is interesting that it motivates you about the area you are doing research in the, this area. If I say something about flying ad hoc networks or like uh, your unmanned air vehicles, so I have to uh, fully explain the motivating path that the reader or the funder or any sort of institution or supervisor can be fully attracted uh, towards my introduction. After that, you have to write some sort of background that is uh, connected with your area and you have to outline your problem at the end paragraph. Like you have to highlight the issue that uh, I have studied th these paper papers and these books and after that I have concluded to my background that is my context. And after that, uh, you have to write a problem statement of the research. Like uh, uh, so many people also include some sort of uh, questionnaire survey as well that I have done some sort of questionnaires and I have included my survey in this proposal uh, at the um, end of the uh, introduction as well. And also you have to, uh, if you are doing this sort of research for some sort of funding, so you can also write your topic of interest like uh, uh, or uh, uh, like uh, in which uh, department you are doing job, are you doing job as a scientist, are you doing job as a professional activist, as a policy maker or as a member of a society or as a student, you have to uh, write something about yourself as well. Okay, and you have to uh, write ev each and everything about the topic in the literature review as well. And how many papers and how many uh, research work people have done in the past in this area and how many people have contributed in this area. So you have to give the insight information uh, of the uh, literature and introduction uh, at the end of the paragraph in introduction specially. Then uh, it comes a, a literature review. And literature review that portion that uh, which paper or book you have studied. So you have to cite the book and you have to write about that paper or a book or article or any sort of thing you have studied for this area or for this problem. And then you have to compare your uh, problem with that area and you have to make your research design and method. And in research design and method you have to explain about your tools. Uh, which tool you will be using and also the research design you have uh, discussed uh, in the literature as well. Like previously, uh, how many people have uh, made uh, their uh, uh, methodology, like which sort of research was conducted in the past and now I am conducting which sort of research. So uh, also you have to write the sources from which sources you uh, have taken the idea like uh, uh, if someone uh, uh, if I say something about the mobile ad hoc networks or vehicular ad hoc networks you have to uh, write the source of the paper uh, you have to mention that in the reference uh, references as well and uh, then comes about your contribution like uh, where you have to uh, contribute in your research. So the main thing that comes is uh, research design. You have to fully explain your idea that this is my new idea that you have to explain in the uh, methodology or research design. 
and also you have to write at the end of the uh, uh, references you have to write your own uh, biography that you have done uh, you are a practitioner you are a phd scholar you are a scientist or you are a policy maker or you have done so many research uh, under this area some sort of papers you have published you have to write in the uh, biography as well so this was all about the uh, how to write a research proposal uh, we have studied the academic and professional research proposal so meet with you all in the next video and try to uh, subscribe like and comment on my videos and also uh, i will say that must subscribe my channel uh, this is for like uh, uh, I named it, it's called Exploring Life is Fun. So you, uh, if you want to explore the studies, if you want to explore yourself, if you want to uh, adventure anything, so must subscribe my channel and comment on my videos and like it and share it. Uh, uh, inshallah, meet you in the next videos. Thank you so much.